Who's ready to find some relics today? Are you ready to find some relics? Well, Rick hooked us up today, and we're going to hook this brand new field. Never been here before, but it was an old structure here back, right, Rick? So we're going to check it out right now. Stay tuned. Let's see what we got. All right, let's just start hunting this field. I'm working my way up to a nice, tall part of the field. That's normally where they would build their homes at, now on a tall area. Hadn't got there yet, but just dug a little piece of brass. It's like maybe an ornamental piece of brass. Maybe went to a piece of furniture or something. So, getting close to the spot I want to get to. All right, we're definitely starting to get some hits right here in the front yard of the property here. And that looks like some kind of ornamental piece again. From some kind of furniture or something. So, and it's old. You can tell by the, the uh, design on it. It's probably pretty old handmade. So, we're starting to get a few hits here. I like it. This is an area... There are a lot of Civil War troops pass through too, so I'm looking for Civil War too. I think I got a little something real good down here. Check it out. Anybody know what that is? It's kind of a cool find. A thimble. It might be silver actually because it gave me a really high reading. And it is silver looking, so it could be. It's kind of cool. We'll clean that up and show it in the end. That's awesome. Alright, just dug something. I thought it was just a piece of trash, but look at that i think it's a belt buckle maybe a silver belt buckle or something i can actually see some design on it that's a ship it's got a ship on the front of it that's awesome that's cool looking right there i might have to try to straighten that up when i get home that's awesome i can see a sailing ship on the front of it right there isn't that cool that is cool right there all right let's bag and keep them all right, there's iron everywhere in the ground. Now, I think it's hiding a lot of good signals. I do have something right here that's round. I don't know if it's a button or a coin, but it is round. Let's see if we can clean it off enough to see what it is. I don't know. One cent? I think I see one back up. Oh, it is one. It's a weedy. I see it now. It's a weed. It's a weedy. All right, let's bag it up and keep moving. Awesome. All right, just took another wheat penny, and I got another hit right here. We'll get ready to check out right now. Sounds like a wheat penny. Sounds like a penny anyway. Yep, there it is. 21. It's always a, normally a penny. That's another weedy. That's the third weedy in here. Definitely sitting. Should be some silver. We've got to find some silver now. Yep, there's got to be some in here. All right, got a nice signal. Just dug it a hole. I see something silver looking. I don't know if it's silver yet, but it could be. I don't know. Oh, yeah, so it is. Sweet. We got silver. I knew it had to be silver in here with all those wheat pennies in here. Awesome. We struck silver today. All right, let's see how many more we can find in here. We're digging all kind of coins in here, man. Uh, Rick just dug a weedy, and I'm uh, digging weedies and, and dimes. Awesome. I love that buckle thing, though. We gotta check that out when we get home. All right, I'm seeing it. Look at everybody for the target and look at that right there. Can y'all see it? I see it, and it looks like there's a, oh, yep, it's a penny or, or some coin anyway shoved inside the, well, it's not silver, I can tell that because of the uh, copper showing up. Could be a weedy, dude. Yep, it's a weedy. Another weedy. I think that's four, four or five. All right, let's bag it up. Maybe it's a 1943. We, we can retire again if it's a 43. All right, another bouncing number of 3031. But I've already dug a couple pieces of copper pipe and different junk with those numbers too. So you just never know. Let's keep it. It's out. I don't see a big piece of copper pipe. That's a good thing. But it could be uh, something junk in here. Who knows? Right. Yeah. Oh, check it out. It's a buckle. That's pretty awesome. I'll take that. This is going to design anything on it. That's old colonial buckle right there. That's pretty cool. Awesome. All right, let's bag that and keep moving. That's nice. I like that. I just want to show you what we're dealing with here. Square nails. The ground is full of these guys right here, and that's what's hiding a lot of targets. 
you just get a little beep sometime in between some of these and I'm digging. When I get that little bit of high tune beep, I'm digging. But that's what's hiding our target right now. Alright, I think Rick's got a penny down here. What you got, Rick? Uh, looks round. It's round. We like roundness. Yes, we do. Ah, yeah, see it's it. a penny. Uh, see, it's a wheat penny. That's the question. I, don't know. I did dig one uh, memorial penny in here, actually. But all the rest of them have been weedies. I bet you that's a weedy. Yeah, that looks like a weedy. It looks like it, don't it? All right. Good job, man. Awesome. <laughs> Way to go, man. That's awesome. All right, it got me a nice 30s hit right here. I kicked the uh, hay away, and it went away. I came over here, and it was sitting around top of the ground. Look at that. I believe that's a rain guide for a horse. What do y'all think? I think I remember seeing that before somewhere. That's pretty cool, though, actually. All right, Rick's got a, uh, on my machine, it was like a 30-31, so that should be a, yeah, good target. Silver or something big, um, buckle or something, man. Oh, you already got it out of the ground. Maybe. You never know. Yeah. I think you got it at the ground there, man. You starting to feel it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh Whoa, hey, you uh, know what that could be? That could be a fuse to a cannonball, potentially. Oh, Let's check it out. It's big. <laughs> that could be a cannonball fuse. That's crazy. I don't know. We'll have to check that out later. Clean it up. Maybe somebody can help us ID that. But I know one of them I found was real some of that. And this isn't cleaned up yet. But that could be something cool. All right. Let's bag it up. And we'll check it out when we get home and get it cleaned up. All right. Rick says he thinks he might have found a dime. Is it? I'm not sure yet. Not sure yet. Ah, I see some copper on it. Huh? I see copper. But what is it though? <laughs> I don't think that's a penny though. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Ah, it's a wee, a, a uh, Indian head. You kidding me? Yep, that's an Indian head. Indian head penny? I think so. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I see, yep, one cent, that's an Indian head. Sweet. You're Good job, me. man. You kidding me? Awesome. Yeah. Is that your first one? Oh, your first. <laughs> Rick's got all kind of first coming on. Yeah. Everything's first to Rick almost. <laughs> He's a newbie. First. Everything's first. That's awesome, man. I'm done for a week. Let's go. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was right on top of the ground, though. That was. Said, it was, you know. You got a hit and just look, and it was right there. Well, I swept it off and uh, maybe an inch down. Man, uh, awesome, man. Good job. Nice. Peanut, peanut guys. <laughs> Good job, man. Don't tell them. All right, we won't tell them anything. <laughs> All right, we're at a new location, and this guy's getting the bees out of the house. The whole side of the wall is full of bees, and I think it's my friend Jay. I'm out here a long way from home. I can't believe it. That's Jay. That's gonna freak me out. But uh, not a whole lot of people actually do this, so it could be Jay out here. All right, let's go ahead and check him out. Hey, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing, man? <laughs> it is Jay! Man! What's up, brother? I can't believe that. Jay was in one of my videos uh, doing the bee beekeeping uh, in one of my videos. Unbelievable. We're out a long way from home and here I run into Jay right here in the woods. Unbelievable. Alright, we don't want to get too close because those bees are not happy. But you see all the honeycombs in the bucket right there full of that uh, honeycomb and he's actually sucking the bees into that red bucket right there with this hose right here he's actually sucking them out of there and that bucket right there is full of bees I mean I don't, thousands and thousands of bees in that bucket now and he's up there now trying to get some of the honeycomb out if you look real close in the wall right there look at the you can see the honeycomb all on, on the inside of that wall right there that is crazy he, look at look at that big old piece of honey he's putting in the bucket right here. Uh, honeycomb. That is crazy. The honey's coming all out of it. They said the honey was just oozing out inside the house in there from the from the uh, bees and the honey coming out. But there's still a lot of bees up there, and they are not happy with Jay taking all that honeycomb out of there. That's their that's their home. And he, they are not happy. Look at that big old chunk. Of, oh my God! Big old chunks of honeycomb coming out of there. I can see over there, right, right over to the left of his shoulder right there is a whole ton over there too. He is just taking giant pieces of that comb. Look at that comb out, putting it in buckets. Unbelievable. Man, 
Uh, we're going to back up because we don't want to get near these bees here. They are not happy. Alright, Jay says he's got a bucket full of, of uh, honey and a bucket full of honeycomb and oh my god. And a bucket full of bees. Thousands of bees in that bucket right there. We're going to head on and go try another spot. Jay's going to look like he's going to be in a little while. Got bees on his back, bees on his hat, bees everywhere. <laughs> Alright, let's go hunt a little bit. Well, we came to hit a couple fields in this area right here, but the uh, cotton has not been picked. We thought it might be picked, but it hadn't been picked. So we're going to have to go back to the field we were just in. And just for another hour, maybe, and see what we can find. So let's head back to the other field and do it. Here we go. All right, Rick, give us some gas. <laughs> All right, we're back to the original field that we started with. Me and Rick, ready, Rick? <laughs> <laughs> we took a big, uh, about an hour ride for nothing there, I guess. But at least we got to meet the owner there, and we got to uh, check the fields out that we will be going back to once they pick that cotton in that field. So stay tuned. We'll be doing a movie over there before it's over with. All right, let's see what else we can find in this field here. All right, we're back here digging again. And it got to be a little button here. I'm not sure if that's old or not, though. We'll have to clean it up. It's got some writing on it. We'll have to clean it up and check it out when we get home because I can't really read it here. So let's uh, put it in the bag and check it out when we get back. All right, here we go. All right, we're back in the old uh, penny patch. 2122. Sound like that could be a penny. I don't know that, but uh, we could be into the penny again. Did find a couple of buttons in here. Is there one of these packs here? Let's see. All right, it's in my hand. Yep, I see it. I see a penny. Be nice if it was an Indian head. Like old Rick got. But I think it's another weedy. Yeah, we got us another weedy. I'm not sure how many that is now, but uh, man, I think it's a weedy anyway. It is. I think his head's worn off. Yeah, it's just worn down really bad. I can see the uh, weed on the back actually. Yep, just worn down there big time. All right, got another weedy. All right, check all these peanuts out. I didn't have a bag, so I'm doing a little improvising. I tied my sleeves to my sweatshirt up, put a piece of tape around the neck, and we got a whole sweatshirt we can fill up with peanuts right here. We're going to do it right now. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> I don't know what happened here, but they left a lot of peanuts in a pile right here. The machine was having trouble over there. You can look over here in the field and see them. They're still picking peanuts over there. And once they get those peanuts picked out of that field, we'll have a lot more to hunt, won't we, Rick? Yes, sir. Man, that's picking a lot of them. Almost got my entire shirt filled full of peanuts. Four, and, uh, four, more, four more homesteads on this property. Alright, so we're we just getting started on this property. So we should have some good hunts on this property for so with. And we'll have plenty of peanuts to eat. I'm going to keep packing them in here. Apparently something something dropped them out or something while they were going around. I, they had this many at one spot I would say. But uh, I'm enjoying it though. It's been nice for me. That's a lot of peanuts in there. Yes sir. All right, I guess we'll call that a wrap. Check that beautiful sky out. That's awesome right there. Sun's going down, Rick. I guess we got to head out, buddy. We can do it. All right. <laughs> Appreciate everybody coming along. We're going to get home and clean everything up and uh, show you everything, all the finds, in just a little bit. So stay tuned. All right, Rick and I hit an old house site this afternoon. Uh, they were picking the peanuts out in the field. He's got five house sites on that property right there. We just hit one of them. So we're going to have some good time in that field. I think we'll be able to find some stuff out there. And I got some peanuts. Peanut treasure too today. Had a whole, like 20 pounds of peanuts. Man, we're gonna check them out too. But anyway, let's check out what I got in the field right here. All right, to start with, we got a lot of trash. We cleaned that field out pretty good, actually. Um, sometimes he's digging stuff. I think there's a shotgun show there, I'm not sure. But you know, in an old, old uh, house site, a lot of times it's got a lot of old metal they use and plow parts and all kinds of stuff like that. So you end up getting that. This site actually goes back to the 1800s, and it could go back further. You don't know a lot of times, uh, so you just you just go in there and start digging. Uh, a couple of things I got. I think this is a rain guide. Y'all gonna help me out and let me know if I'm wrong. I think this is a horse rain guide for um, the horse uh, buckle. It's just a big old buckle. I'm not sure how old that would be. Uh, uh, at least early 1900s, maybe 1800s. Don't know. 
This thing looked like to me like it's probably part of some kind of furniture or, or, or something maybe. Some kind of uh, you know, decorative type stuff right there. This was just a, a cone shaped piece of uh, copper that was flattened out. Same here with this I think probably a piece of furniture or something. You can see it's got some design on it and all. I think this is a suspender clip right there. You can see the little grooves on it right there where you used to catch a suspender coming through. We got one Mercury Dime, 1917, I believe it is. That's pretty cool. Got some silver today. I like that. We got nine wheat pennies and one more penny. Uh, they range up. There's two 42s, a 1917, uh, two 1940s, a 46, a 47, a 49. Then we got the 151. That's the more penny. Pretty cool. I mean, oh, that little, I call it the penny patch because we were both digging uh, pennies right in this just general area, about a 20 foot circle there. I don't know if it's an old clothesline or something there and they're dropping the pennies out of something, but some kind of activity was going on there. This was really cool when I found this. Hopefully, we can see that. Maybe I'll get another picture and put up on the screen there. But it's a sailing ship on it. I don't know how old that is or what it is. First, I thought it might be some kind of buckle thing but you see the each corner has a little hole in it where it was uh, attached some kind of way but it's a kind of a neat little uh, tag or I don't know if it went to a I don't know where it would go to anybody got any ideas out let me know it's kind of cool though and we got a thimble it feels kind of light I think it maybe could be sterling but kind of light feeling so I don't think it is I might be aluminum two little uh, buttons right here I thought this was a piece of a spoon but it's got a little hole here a little hole up there, so I don't think it is a spoon. I'm not sure what that is. I had a couple of doodads there, some brass stuff. I just picked up this one square nail because they, you know, they're the one getting us a heck of a time in that ground. Big chunks of metal, square nails, and it was really getting, um, when, while you're trying to dig, are you going over, you're getting kind of bad signals. Like it was real scratchy signals because you had iron right in the hole with the stuff and all, so it was really tough. But as soon as I got a decent signal, I tried to get close enough to get a, a strong signal off of it. But sometimes I couldn't. I just dug it. Sometimes it'd be a penny or something, you know. So it's tough digging in those old iron-infested uh, old house sites. It really is tough. I haven't really uh, mastered that yet for sure. So I'm working on it. Um, I'm going to show you a few things right here that, that Rick found. I'm going to show you some pictures and talk about that just for a second. All right, here's a couple of doodads Rick found. We're not sure what they are. Uh, this is that one right here. I thought it was maybe a fuse to a cannonball, but now nah, I don't think it is. But anybody got any ideas, let us know. Uh, the second item here has a lot of uh, decorative design in it, so I don't think it's like farm equipment or anything, so we're not sure about that one. And we all know what this one is. A nice uh, Indian head Rick found. First Indian head for Rick right there. Looks like a plow hit his head there a little bit. I think he got knocked out. But uh, in this uh, last picture here is uh, all of Rick's finds. A couple of other doodads in there. A little red, little uh, light-looking thing with the brass around. We're not sure what that was. And, yeah, but anyway, uh, we had a pretty good time. All right, appreciate everybody coming along. Please click like, comment below, share. And you know the rest. Thanks for coming along.